It is a very grim and dark situation at the moment. Uh, the humanitarian level, we have even heard the head of uh, humanitarian affairs at the UN almost cry at the UN Security Council and announce the catastrophe and sound all the alarm bells. It is a very, very serious situation. But I think beyond the humanitarian, humanitarian is what announces uh, more dangerous uh, spillovers from Syria to the neighboring countries. So my uh, feeling is if we do not have a serious responsible management by the international community of the Syrian situation today, we will be having a collapse of the state, chaos in Syria, but not only in Syria, it will spill over to neighboring countries no matter how much uh, containment efforts are made. Uh, I believe the full exploration of the political process has not happened so far. Uh, no, the management, as I was saying, responsible management means also looking at all the political options and building an architecture for a peace negotiation. And this is what is today the most important need for Syria. This, the existing regime cannot continue, but we cannot stop at that. We cannot just say, will it continue, will it go? The point is, how are we preparing Syria for the aftermath of this regime? And to a large extent, the after Assad has already started in Syria. Look, I think we are in uh, a situation where we have to understand that the uh, emergence of women into the public space and uh, as active citizens is part of social change in our region. So it is a slow process. It will take decades. And women have to invest into a very long-term effort. They may not reap the benefits of, uh, of this effort, but we need to do it. Revolutions, conflicts are usually uh, an opportunity to make a big jump forward with women's issues. So in a, after violence in Syria, after women participating fully in Egypt, uh, now I think women have to be first of all organized and there are very courageous women, very brave, wonderful, inspiring women, but we need to work together. And that is our biggest challenge, uh, organizing women's efforts and organizing the priorities, being part of public life, being part of political life, being part of the transition institutions and in countries where we have a social reconciliation issue, such as Syria, women have a very special role to play in bringing back social peace to, to the countries. Things that men cannot do, women can do across conflicting parties, across groups, across ethnic, cultural, sectarian divides. I think it is going to be very long, but I think we have to be very pushy. It's a very risky uh, thing for women to expose themselves to public life when men are not used to it. And that's our real challenge. Uh, many, many women are uh, afraid to go into the public sphere. They're afraid to expose themselves because they feel more vulnerable than men. And actually, the attacks on women are usually much easier. So uh, men might allow themselves to attack on certain issues women more than they would with, uh, if it were a man. So uh, it is risky. Uh, so it requires uh, courage, but it requires also support. So organizing women is one way also of supporting these women who decide to go into the public sphere. Look, idea I think is doing a very interesting uh, effort uh, in uh, accompanying processes of transition and these are very complex so acknowledging the complexity idea does I think unlike maybe other institutions in other countries so I think this is a very positive aspect uh, there are big challenges that are related uh, to uh, processes and idea can accompany those it can help uh, make those uh, succeed, such as electoral processes, yes, constitutional building, 
saying yes. But I think there are deeper issues where I would very much like to have ideas support. Uh, we have a huge problem of building institutions and developing collective efforts. Uh, that is uh, at the core of the problems of our region, maybe in other countries as well, but in the Arab region, this institution building is a major issue. Uh, party building, as part of institution building as well, is one form of institution building, is at the heart of our problems and our weaknesses. And I think uh, if I can uh, bring to idea uh, the uh, practical experience of where these gaps are and our weaknesses and build with ideas some strategy to uh, respond to those needs. I think that's uh, what I'm looking forward to developing in the coming uh, meetings and participation to the board meetings.